What's up everybody? It's Butch from Southeast Cichlids. Time to go take a look at the new fish that just came in. Got three sleepy, sleepy dogs up here today. 600, still doing great. Fish are big and happy. Got in some more of the Lethranops Gold Harbor Monkey Bay. <clears throat> um, a few males, uh, a little bigger than last time, already showing really good color. A handful of those. And again, you know, some smaller ones. Um, I can, you know, pick out, pick out, you know, obvious males like that and, and uh, something like that would hopefully be a female. Uh, these are some uh, wild caught Autolamprologus compressicep, special ordered in for a customer. Uh, Lanacara blue neon and some really really nice Trimitochromus Laturus Tanzania super nice uh, green and all of these fish are gonna have females available with them um, uh, normally I'm able to order males only uh, but lately there has not been the option to get only males on a lot of these fish. I've had to take some females as well. Um, so I've tried to be a little more strategic uh, as far as what I get. Uh, I just have asked them to tell me what the best fish they have um, during that ordering period are. And, uh, and that's what I got. And really, really happy with uh, both of these groups. Um, Blue Neon are always really nice, but uh, these Trimetochromus, um, I may have had them once or twice wild caught um, and never really got to see the males color up, but um, these, these fish are three, three and a half inch and just really nice. The green is crazy. Out of Pharynx, uh, Z Rock, nice blazed out males, Protomelus, Bodzulu Red, got some nice males, same deal, uh, females with uh, both of these groups, the Z Rock and the Bodzulu. Um, there are also some Lemon Jake. Uh, nice lemon jake males and some females in here. Bodzulu are a really good size and <clears throat> color is really good. And those Xerocs are uh, always super, super, super nice. Uh, Placidochromus Giselle. Some Protomelus Taiwan Reef. Auto uh, Pharynx Heterodon, also. Really cool. Good color. Lethronops red cap. Um, these are really, really nice. Uh, good size, full color, red blazing in the head, nice green bodies. Uh, I got in a 15 pair. Um, all the females went uh, pretty much, you know, immediately. Uh, but I, I will still have some of these uh, bigger, nicer males on the site. Just really, really nice. Uh, 
plus Cetachromus <clears throat> Malomo, also known as a VC10. Um, a couple of the Bucachromus Nodatania still here. Um, there might be one left on the website. Uh, I hope to get some more in maybe next week. Uh, also, plus Cetachromus Johnstoni uh, and Alanacara Tassano Rocks. Really nice sized Protomelis Aloba Chalice Herte. Uh, probably got three different sizes four inch and, and then some six and a half inch and a couple smaller. Uh, but these are nice, uh, showing good color. Uh, there are a couple that uh, came in with a bad eye, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> if anyone wants a bad eye herte, that eye is good. It's good. You can see that eye, not so much, but it's not like the eyes out of out of his head, you know. Uh, I'll cut your deal on him. Uh, Lethernops in Bossy Creek. Uh, some really really nice little males um, and females. Bicolor peacocks. If you're wondering what looks different, we painted all the tanks blue. It was a labor of love, but it was worth it. We're not all the way all the way done yet. Uh, still doing a lot of work on this island, but um, in the next week or so, we'll have it wrapped up, uh, replacing all these top tanks um, and the bottom tanks. Got some Placidochromis, um, Phenichos white lips, uh, some little guys, uh, probably inch and a half, two inch. Also, Lanacara brevinitis, <clears throat> um, which uh, aren't really doing much right now, but a really interesting peacock. Uh, a lot of car uh, Jacob Freeber guy. Uh, and uh, by color or two. Uh, the Jacob Freeber guy are the Kate McClear. That is the Protomelis Orange Belly Mdoka. Um, I had a group of these, I, if you, uh, several shipments ago, um, I ended up with a, a male and two females is, is all that I have left, um, but they are uh, stable and established, um, super cool, uh, the color uh, coming in, um, so if anyone wanted to mess around with that fish, uh, you know, I've got a trio. Um, also in this tank, <clears throat> a really nice... Uh, which he's not showing his color right now. That is a Lethernops Marginatus Redfin, who is usually on fire. Uh, not so much right now. Um, but I have uh, two males and three females. And uh, believe me, when he's fired up, he's spectacular. OB Peacocks. Lots of different colors, super thick, big OBs. Um, some of these are probably pushing five inch, maybe. For sure, a solid four and a half inch. Um, crazy colors, lots of oranges. blue 
I don't think I'm going to put these in the separated out tanks this time. Um, so if you see a specific one in here that you want, we'll just have to do our best to uh, figure out which, which one that is and, and get it for you. Uh, good bit to choose from though. If you like OBs, <clears throat> um, these are super nice. Uh, there's a big lemon jake in here too. These are the Alana Cara Ruby Red Rotor Kaiser. Nice males and females. Um, had to get females. Uh, I got with the OB, didn't have to get females, so that's good. Um, also in here are uh, albino firefish. Uh, pretty cool. So they have some potential. Um, and also Plasidochromis uh, pombo rocks. Uh, really nice protomelis. Um, uh, you know, not, not showing any color now, but uh, we can pick out males. Uh, Lana Cara Red Flash and Chilo Tilapia Rhodesii. Males and females <clears throat> on the Red Flash. Uh, they're really nice. That guy is real nice the red coming in on him, on him. Um, and then you know I got a few of the Chilo Tilapia Rhodesii nice nice males uh, showing great great color at 3 inch Alana Cara Chalumba <clears throat> um, these guys are really big, nice, uh, impressive Alana Cara. I've got females uh, with them as well, and also a few Turkis with these guys. Not many, maybe three males. Uh, but the Chalumba are just super duper duper nice. Cyaneochromis, uh, Snow White. <clears throat> um, a lot of really nice males. Uh, I don't know if the camera's going to catch it. Uh, the, uh, the, the sheen on the fish is real pearly and, and kind of hard to capture. Uh, but it's there, very pearly. Um, and they have nice orange uh, fins. Got males and females. And also have some nice... OB Snow White, um, <clears throat> a couple of really nice looking males with uh, crazy color, uh, males and females of those. Uh, if you wanted to get crazy and uh, get both of these uh, and create your own experiment project with the Snow White and the OB Snow White, I got, you know, Got some different selections here. Lana Cara Jacob for Burg I Eureka Red. Big, nice Eureka Red. Females with them as well. Solosi I Green Face. Uh, got a little group in for a customer. The male is looking really good. Javier, if you're watching, um, that's one of your fish, the Solosi that you ordered. Here, uh, Placidochromis phenichilis Tanzania. I've got uh, some uh, Budzulu Red, a 
couple males and a few females in here, a couple OB, um, and icebergs, uh, which that male right there, uh, you just have to trust me, maybe I'll catch him in the next couple days, but uh, he gets super duper iced out um, when he's chasing the females. Uh, so if, you know, anyone is wanting to, to have a nice breeding group of the iceberg, um, that guy is super, super nice uh, when he's fired up. I'll try to catch catch him one day this week. Copacromus Cadango, Redfin. Uh, these males are really, really, really big and nice. Six inch or so. And um, these are really red. I mean, they get red, not orange. Um, but they, they are legit red when they fire up. Uh, some special ordered Tanganyikans. Uh, those are wild caught Sipochromus microleptodotus bulu point and Ophthalmoprologus goldhead Kasanga. And that male right there is really big. A nice, nice wild caught. More Tanganyikans, uh, Parasipochromus velifer, super cool Parasip. Xenotilapia papilio canoni. I got those in for a customer. As well as those little. Uh, Lamprologus uh, back there in the back and uh, Alta Lamprologus Sambu Shell, South of Fairnix, uh, First of Kagoma. Julia Chromis Dickfeldi. I think I think I got everyone in this tank, but um Yeah, you know we get tanking against too. Wild caught Tyrannochromis Nagaventer. I uh, got several males in that um, five, six inch range. Uh, Stigmatochromis Tole. I uh, got a little a trio of these guys in for a customer. Uh, and uh, Protomelis Labradin. Uh, I've got maybe. Four of these uh, wild caught Labradin. Not showing too much color yet, but a little, little sheen of color. More Tanganyikans. Um, got some uh, Siphotilapia frontosa. These are MOBA. Zaire Blue. These are F1. So got some nice Neolamprologus Lelupi Orange. And, uh, you know, they're a nice orange instead of that bright yellow. Which, uh, you know, I kind of like. Uh, Cylindricus. Uh, Neolamprologus Boucheri. Kachis Blue. I'm gonna put a couple of those in uh, a 180 community that I'm working on. Uh, Buga Chromis or DZI yellow. Um, I can try to pick out a male. Uh, these are just unsexed. Uh, they came as males, but. You know, I can't put my life on it, <laughs> so uh, I'll do my best if you want one. Also have a uh, Tyania Chromis Holotania. Um, and this big Protomelis uh, Spelonotus, 
and Benji Sulphurhead that has been here for several shipments now. And the first time I showed him, I said I was keeping him and I was going to breed him. And everybody wanted him. Well, uh, a couple weeks ago, I decided I wasn't going to breed him. And I was, in fact, going to sell him. And now nobody wants him. So, none of the fish are for sale. If only that worked. But he, he's for sale, and he's super nice. And I'm not keeping him anymore. Uh, these are Sipachromus Katumba. Really, really nice uh, Sip. Always been my favorite uh, because of the, the variation in color uh, with the males. Um, most of your Sipachromus species are one color. Um, you know, if it's. You tend to, you know, blue fish with yellow tail, and some of them just have blue tails. Um, anyways, if you know about these fish already, you're probably bored with me telling you about them, but for those that don't know, or maybe just getting into Tanganyikans, um, the Katoomba, every male is different for the most part. Um, lots of variation in color. Uh, you get some icy blue ones. Uh, you get some with a lot of yellow in the body, which you can't really see because that one's not fired up. Uh, this blue one is kind of uh, running, or is kind of running the show right now. But anyways, um, uh, I asked uh, my German over there to pick me out um, some really crazy different colored males uh, with a lot of yellow. Uh, so any of you people who are really into sips and do know really what these are. Um, there's a lot of variation in the males, just a really, really stunning group. Um, there are eight males, 18 females. Gosh, I might just keep these, I might not, I'm, I might keep them for myself. No, I'm just kidding. I am going to start trying that tactic more though. Um, but these, these are available for sale. Super nice group. Um, also have some Xenotilapia papilio. Uh, Capilli Sunflower, which um, these are going in uh, one of my tanks that I'm working on setting up um, to go with uh, some foie I'm about to show you. Uh, but the Capilli uh, Papilio has always been one of my favorite of the Xenotilapia because of uh, the eye mark the eyeball in the dorsal um, which you know one day I'll show you uh, a lot better uh, picture or video of, of these guys but one of my favorites I've kind of been uh, bitten by the tang bug again it, it comes and goes I'm setting up uh, two really nice tangy can tanks uh, show tanks to keep Group of uh, Cypochromus Moba Speckleback. These were actually special ordered for a customer, and one of the males was just going crazy earlier, but of course now he's not super fired up. Got some nice uh, Neolamprologus Daffodil. Really, really, really nice. The color. You know, a simple fish, but just the thing with the tangs is a lot of it, uh, you have to just appreciate some of the small detail. And uh, that guy's, uh, these daffodil are crazy. They've got really, really nice orange. Got some uh, little uh, Julita Chromis ornatus put a handful of these in the tank I was just talking about. Uh, we'll have some of those on the website also. 
uh, as well as these daffodil. These are Sciatha Pharynx Foi Canoni. And I got a big group of these to put in an eight foot tank that I'm setting them up, setting up just for these guys. Um, really excited about it. If you know what these are, then you could probably share my excitement of uh, how nice these are um, and how nice they're going to look in an eight foot tank with just open sand to dig. Um, so I plan to make lots of videos of, of these guys uh, as they get going. Uh, also got a bunch of trophies in for a customer who just special ordered uh, a handful of a bunch of different ones that he's putting into uh, just a big crazy trophies tank. Well, that is going to be it for this video. I'll have the website updated uh, with all the fish that I've just shown you, southeastcichlids.com. Uh, we're also on Facebook, Southeast Cichlids. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.